Maybe I'm Amazed by Paul McCartney and Wings. One of the most brilliant songs ever written. This is the guitar solo for uh, my buddy Rob over in France. Um, this is awesome. Um, you've had several of the CBTs, so you kind of know the deal. It is standard tuning. Um, so it starts at 338. You wanted the second solo, not the first one. So um, we're going to break all that down for you right now. Let's grab that first. We're going to um, start on 5G. Fingering, you can experiment with, Rob. Um, I did right fingerings for most of this, but if you need to change it up, go for it. Um, we're going 5G, slide to 7. 686 six on the B. So that part is. And then 8B, bend a whole step. Remember, back it with a couple fingers. Hold it, pick, and release it. So you got. Then 6B, 7G, slide to 5. That's like really the first riff, so to speak. And then we're going to go 5, slide to 9. Short rest. Pinch harmonic, if you can get that in there. It's not huge pinch harmonic, but it's not a ton of gain on it either. Half step bend release, so... Seven G. So you got and then nine D slide to seven. I would use third finger. And then first finger five D. Okay, and then uh seven D twice, slide to nine, slide to seven and pull off to five. So there's a lot of techniques in this part. It's... Careful on the pull off that you don't strum underneath strings. If you do, make sure it's muted by the angle of the first finger. So... And then 7-5, vibrato D. So after you do the... Why am I throwing a pinch there? It's not supposed to be one. Okay, that's the 338 timestamp. Kind of a long timestamp. 336 is... Uh, kind of starts it over here. Changes the ending. And that's, uh, so basically repeat it. The 5-7 slide on the G, 6-8-B. You do the bend on the A, hold it, pick, release. 6-B, 7-G, slide to 5. And it's going to change up here in a second. So here's that one again. And then grab that 5-G, slide to 9. Okay, you'll see um, in your tabs, when you slide to 9, bend, release, bend, release, you'll see a bunch of them. So the peaks are the whole steps, and then the dropbacks are the releases. Um, there's lots of them. It actually goes, bend, release, bend, release, bend, release, bend, and there's a short rest there. Then he picks it again and goes, bend, release, bend, release, 7G, 10D. Okay, 352 timestamp. Um, I was able to use the live video to, to catch hand placement too, which that always helps. 10D, third finger slide to t uh, 12, and then go 10, 12, G, which are the same notes as. You just went for a, a little deeper tonality. Okay, and then um, we're going to pre bend the 12 now, a whole step release and pull off to 10. So that's why you want a couple fingers to back it. When we release this, we gotta get the middle finger out of the way to pull off to where the index is. So we have 12, 10, G after that. Then bend the 12, G again, backing it with the other fingers for support. Hold it, pick 13, B twice. So it's 
That's why you'll see the line going over the tabs because we haven't dropped and it's and there's actually a, a line going over the tabs off your bend, but then it's highlighted over the 13s to tell you to hold so you hear both the notes. Pick the 12G, release it. So it's 10G. So it's and then 12D, slide to 10, and then grab the 9G. Rest, and then go. So after you do the 9G, half step, bend release, 7G, 9D, slide to 7, pull off to 5. Okay, and then 7, pull off to 5 again, and then pick the 5. So. Alright, that's page 1. Um, Timestamp 359 on the back page. Here we go. Alright, we're going to go. And that's 7G. I would use 3rd finger. Rest, pick it again, and do a half step bend release. 5G vibrato. So. Love that little riff. So. 6D, use the same fingering here. Hammer to 7 with the third finger. One, uh, first finger 5G, middle finger 6B. So. Vibrato. Uh, 5G is the next one, that's time stamped 403. G, rest, once again, half step bend release, rest, pick the 5, slide to 3, vibrato. So let's do everything on the top of page 2. We have... This is all one riff here. Hammer to five on the D and then three G. And back to five D. And actually you're gonna pick that five D twice. So it's slide to seven D. Five G twice, seven D once. So let's do all that. To seven D. 7 on the G, slide to 9. Let's try it up to there now. Oops, wrong spot. And then this last three notes. We need 8B. I know your middle finger is naturally above it, but use your first finger. So we're going to end up going... Oops. take you to 10E, third finger I would use, back it with these two, and bend it twice. Now it's not bend, release, bend, it's bend, stop it with the pick, come back down and do it again. So that last little blues run. Top of page two, all of it. Let's try it again. No vibrato. Okay, there you go, Rob. Um, I'm loving doing the McCartney because he's my all-time favorite musician, songwriter, composer, everything. Um, so this is right up my alley. So if you have any questions, let me know, and I will see you on Skype Friday.